Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts to literally double your speed uh, while modeling in SketchUp. So let's check it out. Okay, so using keyboard shortcuts in SketchUp is really the best way for you to increase your efficiency while modeling. Now, typically when I'm modeling, I've got my right hand on my mouse because that's you know, the most important thing to be able to orbit using your scroll wheel. But I have my left hand rested right on the keyboard at all times. Um, and so this gives me access to all the different tools that I use in SketchUp. So what is a keyboard shortcut? So what it does is it allows you to just tap a key on your keyboard to activate a certain tool. So as an example, let's say I want to create um, a rectangle, push pull it, and uh, turn it into a component. So let's do that without keyboard shortcuts right now. Um, so I'd have to click on the rectangle tool, create the rectangle, grab the push pull tool, push that up. Then I'd have to go back to the select tool, triple click, right click, and make component. Now watch how much faster it is to use keyboard shortcuts to do this. So I'll tap R, create the rectangle, push pull, select to create, get the select tool, and I can't even talk fast enough. I mean, it just goes that that quickly. I'll do that again. So rectangle, push pull, triple click, component. If you're just starting out with keyboard shortcuts, I recommend focusing on the space bar, which is your select tool, the letter M, which is move, the letter P for push pull, and the letter R for the rectangle tool. So you'll notice that most of these start with the first letter of the tool so it makes it a little bit easier to remember. Uh, once you get comfortable using those then you can start incorporating some other shortcuts like the ones you see here into your workflow. But I actually have some additional custom keyboard shortcuts that I use in my workflow and I will link to the file in the, the video description where you can download and import those shortcuts into your own SketchUp program. So the first custom keyboard shortcut that I created is found in the view menu under component edit hide rest of model and as you can see what it does is when you're editing a group or a component it hides everything else in your model so you can focus on what you're editing and like I said I assign that to the letter X so I can easily turn that on and off because there are a lot of times where you know you might be moving something and you, you need it to align to something outside of the group, but then you know a second later you might need to hide it in order to see what you're working on. The next shortcut I created is Shift V, and that allows you to paste in place. And that's found in the edit menu, paste in place. So for instance, I have a group here that contains each wall but it looks like I missed this back wall. I didn't include this back wall in the, in the group. So what I can do is back out of the group, select this object, hit Control X to cut it, and then navigate back into this group and uh, press Shift V, which is my custom shortcut for paste in place. So what that does is it pastes it back into its same physical location but now it's within the active group that I'm currently in. I use that one all the time too. Again, it's a great tip, uh, a great trick for reorganizing your model. The next custom keyboard shortcut I created is the letter N for hide selected and the letter J for unhide last. I use this all the time when I'm creating 3D, 3D models for 3D printing. Um, one of the most important things with 3D printing is you need to make sure you have a solid model. So if I open the entity info window, you can see I have a, a group here. It's not solid. I need to have a solid group. And using the um, solid inspector plugin, I can activate that. And I have this circle here that tells me that there's a face hidden inside of the model that, I, that needs to be deleted. So, you know, the other thing I could do is go to x-ray view and try to see that, but that, that's kind of hard to tell in x-ray view as well. So what I do 
is I select the face that I want to temporarily hide. I tap N on my keyboard and I can see the edge here that I need to delete. So I delete that edge and then I press J to bring the face back. And now when I, uh, you can see here when I select it, it's a solid group. So the letter N and the letter J to hide and unhide faces temporarily. The next shortcut is uh, pretty straightforward. So when I want to create a component, SketchUp already has the letter G assigned so you can create a component. But if I wanted to create a group, there's no shortcut for that. And I still use groups quite a lot. So I use Shift G to create a group. So now I have a group here by pressing Shift G. And lastly, I find that there are times where my workspace gets cluttered and I want to hide all the windows without having to X them out. So by pressing Control D, it toggles the Show Dialog um, action, which you can find under the Window menu. So just by hitting Control D, I can hide the, um, the windows and easily bring them back as well. So again, if you'd like to download and import these shortcuts, you can, if you go to the Preferences window you know, under Shortcuts, you can click Import to import a preferences file. And I'll link to that preferences file in the description of the video where you can download it and import it to your own uh, version of SketchUp. Now, if you'd like to save your own custom keyboard shortcuts, right from the system preferences window under shortcuts you'll see this list of all the possible commands um, within SketchUp that you can assign shortcuts to. So this will include not only the native tools and options in SketchUp but any uh, plugins you have. So for instance I have this plugin here you can see guide tools I have a plugin. Um, so you have the ability to assign custom keyboard shortcuts to plugins as well. So the best thing to do is find uh, whatever tool or action you want to create the shortcut for first in a drop-down menu so you know the name of it and then type in you know just a few words. So for hide, um, I typed in hide to filter and then I selected the function and to add the shortcut you just type it in here. I know Mac is a little bit different but you just type in the letter that you want to assign and then you click the plus sign and it will um, it'll assign it to let me do one that's not um, that's not used so let's say I want to use the letter W and I can hit plus and it shows that the letter W is now assigned to this function and then you click OK and you're all set like I said before you can also import preference files that have the keyboard shortcuts already assigned. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. And if you'd like to learn more about SketchUp, check out my website at mastersketchup.com. And please subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos. And thanks for watching.